This is Jovian. She was born with profound to severe hearing loss. As she got older, she wasn't talking a lot like other two and three year olds. So I took her to the health department. They said, well, maybe you need to go to the Children's Hospital in New Orleans to test her ears and everything. Found out that she hardly had any hearing coming through and she had to wear hearing aids. And with the hearing aids, she can hear a little bit, but she couldn't, like she couldn't hear good. Her doctor, Dr. Jones for the ENT, was saying, well, she needs some kind of communication skills. Either she's gonna do sign language or she y'all can try the cochlear implant. So we had decisions to make and we went with the cochlear implants. And now she in a whole other world. She hears extra sounds way better than the hearing aids. Yeah, way better with the <laughs> hearing aids. I wasn't hearing aids myself. I wish my mom and dad would have talked about uh, doing what we did. I struggled through school, and I didn't want the same for her, but I don't want the same for any kid that, ne that need hearing aid or cover implant. I think if she kept the hearing aids, it probably would have been a struggle for her. But with the cochlear implant, she's doing a great job. She's knowing her colors from numbers to everything. Now she talking way more, doing more. She went from one word to now sentences, saying her whole name, saying her family whole... name. My huh? name Jovi. Your name Jovi? Yeah. Okay. What's daddy name? What's my name? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of kids out there that have hearing loss. A lot of kids in need, medical need. I mean, there's some kids out there that might can't afford it, but donations will definitely help. I recommend it for anybody that need to take their children to the hospital, this hospital, Children's Hospital of New Orleans.